So let me try some magic number. So we have this camera that shows the, the two devices, the iPad and the oxygen. And the magic part means that we need to get this document, you know, that this is a dogbook document because we have also norm here, so I choose dogbook, not other type of document. Um, so this is kind of uh, a dogbook document that is rendered in, uh, uh, in oxygen and you have the track changes, comments, and so on. So let's try to, uh, to get this on, uh, on uh, the iPad. And now is the ma magic part where we should be able to move. Let's see, we get it working on the iPad. <laughs> I also have an Android phone. This phone here, I hope you see it. And now we have the document on the phone. Right. So you can also see it here, it's uh, the same document with the, oh, sorry, you, the, the difficult part for instance is the row spans for tables that are, the table layout is also here, right? So let's put it back on, on the iPad. Okay. <laughs> We have it back on the iPad. <laughs> so this is the dogbook document that we had, uh, and we can see uh, different highlights here. If I press on such a highlight, and if you can see the comment down here, there are some arrows down there where you can, uh, that you can use to move between the comments, and here is a remove uh, button in case you want to remove some comment. So let's, let's say we remove this comment and it's gone. Uh, if I have a change, like this, then the actions here says accept, reject, right? So I can uh, accept or reject the change. Um, but uh, if I want to add a new comment, I can select something here and I say add comment, and then I can add a comment about, you know, this should be changed, for instance, should be rephrased or whatever. Okay. Okay, so now uh, my comment is highlighted here and the comment appears uh, here when you look at it. But I was not very happy with this uh, interface, so I said, uh, what about if we swipe right, right? Why should not be able to see the comments here? And then you can browse through the comments and changes. And uh, we made the video demonstration out of this and uh, it was like select here and accept or reject at the bottom. But what about if you swipe on, on such a change? Then you get the accept or reject actions directly on, on, on the interface. So let's accept this change, accept the other change. Okay. So basically this allows people to review uh, dogbook documents directly on the iPad. Now let's switch to the edit mode. So when I'm in the edit mode, I get a keyboard and I can add content here, right? Um, I can remove content from, from the document. And uh, let's see what else we can do. So if you swipe, you get this content completion and rename element uh, actions here. For instance, if I say rename element, uh, then I can select um, a program listing, so I can type to filter the available options, and then I, we can say a program listing here, and uh, you know the paragraph here is changed, and you can see also this in the in the 
formatting is changed to a program listing. Let's undo this change. Uh, and if I want to enter free markup, so you can select an element and you have the acronym element entered and then you can type uh, something there. I can also uh, turn uh, track changes on. And uh, let's say we save the document now. And maybe we should move back to my laptop. The document is here. The, the modified content is here, right, in, uh, in, in Oxygen.